Welcome once more. It's time again for Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. As always, I thank you for taking the time to watch this video, which hopefully you do find informative. And the book that I'm reviewing for you is one that you will seriously consider adding to your must-buy list. And the book today is The Night House by Joe Nesbo. This is published by Random House Canada and it retails for $24.99. People will be very familiar with Joe Nesbo and his Harry Hole detective series. I love that name, Harry Hole. Um, he's given us 13 books in the series, so maybe he's a bit superstitious, and so he decided to do a book, The Night House, which is his first attempt at horror. Now, the book is in the vein of uh, early Stephen King, Dean Koontz, and John Saul. And uh, Joe Nesbo is a noted Norwegian writer, and uh, he really knows how to craft uh, a book, whether it's mystery, suspense, or now horror. Uh, he takes horror to a new level. Uh, the book revolves around, first, the parents of Richard Eleved, um, died in a horrible fire. So uh, the 14 year old boy is by himself so he goes to a town called Ballantyne where his aunt and uncle are living. So he's a new kid in town and at the school he doesn't get along with people because he's sort of uh, abrasive toward people. He's a bully uh, toward a lot of the other kids and so he really doesn't fit in. But he does make a friend called Tom. So the two decide to go to town one day and they go to a phone booth and um, they start making crank calls to people because, um, you know, Richard is really a devious child. So they make uh, crank phone calls. So they are ready to talk to somebody. His name is Aimu and the last name is Jonasson. And as he makes the call, the receiver that Tom is holding almost comes to life and it starts to suck his body into the receiver. Uh, there's blood all over the place, it's a bloody mess, and uh, Richard watches in horror as his friend is, well, uh, disappears into the phone receiver. So, he's gone. So, he tries to tell police that w what happened, but of course, they're not gonna believe a story like that, that uh, his friend got sucked into a telephone. Like, I don't know if he went long distance or not, but, the boy is gone. And so uh, people look at Richard differently. Some make fun of him saying, yeah, right, somebody, your friend went into a telephone. Um, so, but soon another friend of his disappears, uh, a boy who um, suddenly really turns into an insect and flutters away. So that's two friends disappearing under very, very mysterious circumstances. So uh, the police actually give Richard a lie detector test, which he sort of passes, but he's telling the truth, but nobody believes him. It's like the boy who cried wolf. Well, he's telling the truth that his friends were went very strange, very strange ways. So anyways, he's confined to a sort of institution where he can be observed. And he doesn't like it there, of course. He wants to get away, but he does meet a friend called, uh, her name is Karen. And she's the one person who, who seems to kind of like him because he's not a likable person for all the things he did at school and the things he says and does. So the book is really told in three sections, each one very, very different. So by the time we get to uh, the final part, we start to understand what really happened uh, in Richard's life the night of the fire. Uh, it was a horrible tragedy that was almost like a murder took place and that he finds this out by reading uh, a type of journal. So the book really is dark in places, uh, and it is it will creep you out. Uh, you know, the, the imagery, well, like the cover here of the bloody te telephone receiver, at the right side there, uh, is uh, it lets you know it's gonna be a book that's very, very different. And for Joe Nesbo, the fact that he's written such a great horror book for his first try makes us want to hope that he will write more in the horror field. Like he can write Harry Hole, whatever, but 
Uh, I would like to see some more horror from Joe Nesbo because he's really got away with words. And so if you like a real creepy uh, dark book, then uh, look for The Night House. And uh, it's definitely a book that you won't regret reading. It's short, by the way. It's, it's, it's barely 250 pages. So if you want a very fast read, make the move on The Night House. Grab it. So thanks for watching my video. If you do agree with my book review and you do read the book, please let me know. So I will be back very soon with another book. So until that time comes, stay safe, stay sane, stay in touch, and I will see you at the bookstore. Thanks again. Bye for now.